It's camping season in Canada. I'm sure many of you are planning on enjoying the great outdoors with your family, and for that, you might need a tent. Hi, I'm Martin from the Best Buy blog, and I was just sent a tent to go in the back of my truck from the company Napier. Um, so I'm gonna show you what's included in the box. I'm gonna show you how to assemble it. I'll show you how roomy it is inside. Um, one other thing that's coming up in this video is they also sent me an air mattress that's supposed to fit in my truck. So we'll get to see how well it fits and how it looks inside and how roomy the tent is with the air mattress in there. So stick around. You might find out that this is the right tent for you. So while you watch the unboxing, I'll just discuss some of the advantages uh, that I see with the Napier Sports Truck Tent. Um, I like the fact that you're not on the ground. Um, I've had experiences of camping on the ground and waking up in the morning with a tent covered in ants. Um, or a tent soaking wet from a stream of water running through as it rained overnight. Um, that won't happen in the Napier truck tent, uh, obviously, because you're raised above. Um, I like the, the, that it has solid sides on the, um, from the truck sides. Uh, it just gives us a little bit better sense of security. Um, the, the packaging of the tent is really good, too. Um, the bag itself comes with the um, instructions built right into it, sewn into it like a cloth. Um, everything's laid out pretty well. Um, as you can see in the instructions, the, the color coding of the poles makes it super simple to um, make sure you get it right the first time. This was my first time assembling this tent. Um, so um, here I am just uh, stretching out all the poles, making sure I have everything that uh, should be included, uh, and I did. Um, and then once I have all the poles set out, then I pulled the tent onto the truck, made sure I had the um, section of the tent with the um, straps, the three straps that go around the tailgate. I made sure that those were on the right side. Um, I, they were locked together, so I unlocked locked them and laid them into position. And then I laid the poles into position over top. Uh, you can see in the instructions, they're pretty clear about how to do the straps around the truck. Um, so uh, here I am, I have uh, the poles. I, I took the main two blue poles and laid them out across the truck um, as I was um, getting ready and then I just uh, threaded them through the blue sleeves which I mean the color coding on this is uh, really nice it makes it so much easier to uh, to make sure you don't make a mistake um, each of the poles the ends of the poles fit into a little pocket which is also color coded um, so once you have the, them in the pockets you uh, move on to the next color so here I am doing the, the short gray ones near the cab and then there's a long gray one um, near the tailgate um, and there's a green one in the middle of the tent across the top. Um, so you can see the X of the blue ones and, and the other ones. You're just trying to fit. I just fit them into the pockets. And uh, here I am adjusting it. Um, I wasn't sure how it would uh, elevate into the right shape um, at this point as I had never done it before. So I was just kind of hoping that it would work out. Um, getting the, the blue poles into the pockets. I'm hoping that uh, little bending was permitted and it was um, and then uh, I was quite surprised it was like magic when I got to the, the last blue pocket to, to set it in as you'll see the the tank just pops up and uh, it's uh, really um, here it goes just pops up um, once I get that in the, into the, its little pocket and then the other side um, once I had the long gray pole into its pocket then the the door was elevated above the tailgate and uh, then I could just make sure the tent was sitting up on the top of the box of the truck. So there you see the little gray pocket where the tent pole fits into. Um, as I said the color coding is really nice. Um, the little straps that hook around the tailgate and that connect to the sides of the truck um, are super convenient easy to adjust. Um, it, it really took not very much time maybe you know 20 minutes um, for me to get the whole tent up um, to this point and that was with uh, adjusting the camera. Um, I did throw the rain fly over top as you can see it's not raining it's sunny um, but I did throw the rain fly up top just to make sure that it fit. Um, I made a mistake when I connected it and I detached one of the straps to the the wrong connectors um, but I saw pretty quickly that uh, that wasn't correct so I fixed it. As you can see this is how you um, Put the awning up. Uh, it's another X of poles, X shaped of poles, and then uh, two poles going on the sides. Uh, it's really 
pretty easy, pretty difficult to, to make a mistake. Um, and once it's adjusted, then the tent just it looks perfect, um, as you can see here. I love the shape of the door. The door is nice and big. Um, you can fit your stuff in really easily. Oh, this is really cool. They included um, with my tent these little straps. They're like a cloth, terry cloth straps, nice and soft, that go over the straps that came with the tent. To uh, I guess they, they protect your truck from um, getting scratched, um, if the, the tent's moving or whatever. Um, they're pretty easy. You slide them over top of the straps that came with the tent. Um, I just threaded it through. It didn't take very long. And then you hook the straps back on your truck. Measure the strap out first. That's what um, I learned. And then it makes it much easier because you're not going to adjust the strap once that is on. So this is the air mattress that uh, Napier supplied to me. Uh, I like to pull out of the box, but it's in a nice bag. That'll be great for packing it up again and for storage. Set that aside. it says clean repair area theory of oh patch firmly over puncture you don't have to wait for four hours so it comes with a little patch that's nice uh, the instructions move from packaging oh I guess so, so that seems very compact Built-in hand pump. Turn it face forward. It is. So well, now it's just a matter of pumping it up. Remove the plug. It says. Well, it's not easy to remove. This is a bit of a challenge. Oh, there it goes. The trick is just to get one edge going and then it opens. Okay. Inflating it using my foot because it was a little bit easier. You can tell I'm a little bit out of breath, but it only took me maybe four or five minutes and it's all pumped up. So here's the uh, Moment of truth, fitting it into the truck. As you can see, it fits quite nicely. It's pushed right up to the head of the, of the truck near the cab. And there's room here at the base for backpacks or whatever, or you could move it um, toward the tailgate and have room at the head for other stuff. And I'll just move the camera in here so you can see the room that's on the side. So here we are, there's the wheel wells. And there's some room there. Room on this side. Real well is right there. So I guess if you're sleeping, you'll you'll lean against one wheel well or the other. Um, two people could sit in here. It's like a little single bed, but uh, yeah, looks pretty cozy. So the last thing I wanted to mention about the Napier Sports Truck Tent 
is the convenience of the window at the cab side of the tent being lined up with the window within the cab. So a child sleeping in the truck um, could easily look in on his parents, feel more secure. Um, there are numerous advantages. Um, so read my article in the Best Buy blog to learn more about the Napier Sports Truck Tent.